Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Marvel Midnight Suns, shall we? Alright, so they're telling me that I gotta check out this super link business, and let's see. I have to respond to Nico's message. She has messaged me over here, and it says, um... Ah, here we go. Are you there? Um, and she says, Hunter, are you there? By the way, this is Nico. In case nobody gave you the rundown on how the spark works, Blade and Captain Marvel just filled us in. Freaky stuff, especially Faustus. And then they all just left me here alone. You should come hang out. Um, so I can say, thank you, Nico, but I am tired. Or, um, oh, I don't have another choice. That's interesting. I thought, um, here, select conversation. Oh, someone's there. I just told her I'm tired. Come on, Hunter. I know you're awake in there. You just replied to me. Oh, hilarious. Okay. I thought I was, like, going to be given an option. Okay. Uh-oh. She's pounding on the door. Good. You answered. Getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room. Spacious. Aw, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So, if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff. <laughs> or quasi-human. <laughs> You're a midnight sun now. One of us. Nico, I was just hydra-bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge, or... Maybe crack open the casket of ancient winners a little? All right. So a new hero is available. So now I can take Nico on combat missions, it looks like. And we need to go to the common room. And it's right over here. As long as Caretaker doesn't come up with some busy work in the meantime, I'm perfectly fine here at home. So I need to join a hangout. And... She wants to watch a movie and we'll get friendship experience. Yep, here we are. I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected, chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Um... That's terrible. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. Why, thank you. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. I won't forget it. The glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Was she talking about Pulp Fiction? Um, okay, so... We got friendship reward. Eight, 
friendship gained. She loved the activity. We got a conversation point. Um, we got an outfit and a legendary outfit. Okay. So, what did you think of the movie? Uh, I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries. I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Interesting. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... Uh, think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. <laughs> then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? Um, about the staff of one? I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. Interesting. How does it work? Can you tell me how the staff of one functions? It's, uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. Wow. What about the words you speak? They come true. Uh, kind of. And not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. Uh, what about the runaways? I had some questions about your old team. The runaways? Sure thing. How did you become a team? Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. Wow. What did you do? We ran, but eventually we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods, so we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. Thank you. You know, typical kid stuff. Who were they? Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. Uh. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. Where are they today? Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Nice. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert? She, uh, she didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in LA. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. Wow. Uh, I had some questions about your staff. On the way, I don't think I do. Go for it. It seems powerful, but limited. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. Uh, okay. I should go. I should get going. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like Caretaker wants to speak with you, and... Wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. Okay, then. I'm glad to see you're using your free time productively. Me too. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. You're darn right. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. Oh, great. 
Not quite like it was in the good old days. Were they really that good? I remember many sleepless nights and blood-soaked days. Always on the hunt. I'll give you that. Agatha, where is... I am sorry. I should have had... What? Fear or... You do not have to do this. Thank you, but I do. I haven't spoken to anyone about what happened. And more so than anyone, you deserve to know. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Huh. Okay. Um, so it looks like... I can say you made the right choice, you gave up on her, or I don't envy your position. And these have symbols by them. Uh, I don't know what I want to say. I don't envy your position. I do not envy you. That must have been a difficult decision. It's my job to make tough calls. I'm not popular for it, I know. But strong leadership requires risking being unlike. Sure. <sighs> Wanda. Agatha. It seems we have lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Hmm. Good night, Hunter. Good night. Uh, balance. The hunter can follow the path of light or dark through the abbey they make, uh, through the choices they make in the abbey and the abilities they use in combat. Powerful rewards can be unlocked as hunter moves down either path. So I actually stayed in the middle there. I don't think I moved down a, a path, um, because follow Charlie to the shrine, a hundred percent. The good path seemed pretty rough, like accusing her of giving up on Wanda after Agatha's passing and her power became too dangerous. Boy, my jeans are tight. I mean, unbelievable. Wow. That's a nice memorial. Oh, look at that. Talk to Agatha. Well, that's a nice way to get some closure. Agatha! You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> wow. Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I heard that, yes. I actually find it quite liberating. No. Oh. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. 
The Bloodgate? Uh, the caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. The Bloodgate? I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? Uh... I don't know. I guess nothing bad can happen at a place called the Blood Cave, in a cave that was forbidden. Yeah, I'll just follow your teleporting ghost. It's a nice trick. Touch the seal. Do I just touch here then? Oh boy. Oh. It's one of these portals. This ominous looking portal is known as a blood gate. And you're the only one among us who can pass through it. Blood gate? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes. Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. What lies beyond is meant for you, as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do. But it's always polite to ask. That is something. Alright, let's just go where the ghost leads us. No questions asked. The Trial of the Elder Gods, Oshtur. Open the way to locations barred. Recommended player level one, current player level three. Okay, yeah, we can handle it. Uh, <laughs> no problem? Not what you were expecting, is it? Nope. There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls. To prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I should have known. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Yes, but I may have I found see. a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? Oh, I get my dog buddy. Charlie? Charlie! The uh, old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Thank you. I'll just stand back here and let the dog handle it. Defeat all enemies to complete the encounter. As Indeed. the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one. Uh... I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. Um, alright, so... We can bite and draw a card on KO. Uh, we have... Apply a Vulnerable. And we have a Quick Slash. Okay. So there's... Interesting. Alright. These look to be all... Um... minions like no elites so with the environment if we get enough heroism we should be able to do a ton of damage here let's see if we can get them all there's one you were too weak for this fight yes you were all right and uh now howl just applies two marked to each enemy in the area which i don't think i really need let me see here I mean, it, the only reason I would play this card is to get two heroism, so we could just start throwing rocks everywhere. Uh, I'm going to get rid of one of these. 
And what does this do? Okay, that's good. Knock back. And I'm also going to get rid of a second hull. All right. So, let's see. Looks like no matter how I do this, you can't get... Like, you can't get two. I mean, more than two uh, with that. Uh, let's go ahead and bite this one and move over here. All right. Ah, quick slash. Now that is what I'm talking about. Feel my call. Feel it. All right. Let's see. And we can bite. Another one here. I am impressed. Okay. So we're out of card plays. But um let's just choose the hunter. And the hunter can get rid of this one. Okay. And Hunter, can you do this? We have one heroism left, so we're not going to be killing all of them. There's going to be one left. I hope you weren't supposed to kill them all in one go, because uh, in that case, I have some problems here. And enter. Took a little damage there. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't hesitate to strike. They certainly won't. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. Uh, thank you. You finished this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. I'm worried. Yeah, I figured I'd get a higher score if I completed it in one turn. I just didn't quite see it. Maybe if I would have got some different cards or have more AoE, but, you know, 75 gloss is, is fine. My feelings aren't decimated or anything. Okay. Enter the shrine. Ah, oh, it's very nice. Very old. There's a envelope symbol. It's an ancient post office. Oshter's Cavern. Ah, uh, I found the moon seal. I took it. I don't know if I'm supposed to take that. I, I I nabbed it. Place item. Uh, I guess we placed the moon seal. Alright, this looks like a moon seal. Um, word of power. Oshter's gift allows magical locks and gates to be opened. Open will allow you to access new areas of the abbey and its grounds, which are locked by magical means. Sarah was right to be wary of this place, but it's your birthright. And I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, of blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Oshtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? Uh, okay. 
Yes, I need aid in dealing with the barrier. Words of power are magical incantations the hunter can use on the abbey grounds. To use a word of power, hold R2. Open. That worked. The goddess of order approves. She did. Totally approved. Alright, oh look, treasure chest. I found this. Uh, arcane chest discovered. Oh, but I don't have any arcane keys. Well, that's a... Kind of a kick below the belt. Oh, hi. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. Hmm. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Caretaker isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Good night? Well, I got a new Gamma Coil. Charlie. Good girl, Charlie. Yes. Make the hearts glow. Wolf, wolf, indeed. Objectives. Uh, uh, is this thing on? Uh, Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Okay. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, Strange out. I like how <laughs> Dr. Strange doesn't understand how to use this, like it's a walkie-talkie or something. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. Second funeral. Very good. Whatever. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. Great. I just wonder what it could be. Um, I can say destroy anything with Hydra's foul taint. Um, would it really give us an advantage or I want you to make something powerful? Um... Interesting. So there's light and dark path or middle ground. Let's get something nice. I hope the two of you create something powerful. I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. Uh-oh. His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the arcane might be a problem. But Tony's eccentricities aside, 
I know you can make this work. Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It doesn't bite. Can I use my power word on it? What have you brought me today? Studying artifacts. Studying artifacts unlocks more powerful research projects at the forge and generates significant resources for use in ability upgrades and crafting. All right, study this common artifact. I'm not expecting anything, Mrs. Young. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Prophia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. Place is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. Okay. Um. One sorcerer's trash is another's treasure. I'll let you be the judge on this one. Thanks. Alright, so we got this dagger, and we get all these different essences. And our research level also increased. That seems good. Research projects take one day to complete but grant powerful rewards like room upgrades, combat items, and hero outfits. Okay, so we can research... Uh... Supernatural Fabrication, which will let us craft powerful single-use combat items. That sounds good. War Games. Um, increase ability options in Way of the Fang. Spend moves to knock back enemies in combat. Wow, these, these are all good. Let's start with this one. Research is now in progress. Return to the Forge tomorrow for results. Okay. Uh, gamma Coil Analysis. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. What you got? This should be quick. What do you think? Alright. Oh, look. If you hover over them, this one's blue. Okay, so that seems Another good. Another magical mystery box. And to think, I used to design sentient future tech. It's the hunger. Apply two mark to every enemy with bleed. Free. Um... I don't know what free means. It doesn't cost a card action. One step ahead. Oh, do you get all of these? So it's like you're opening a booster pack or something? Fortify. Gain one counter and 21 block. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, free doesn't cost a card play. That's exactly kind of what I thought. Um... And marked means when you KO them, they give you a card playback. Wow, that's really good. So if you put bleed on and then you play this, um, you basically can make it so you get a bunch of card plays. Very nice. 
Oh, I have to select one of them. Okay, I thought I got all three of them. Gosh, which one do I want? Um, let me see what counter is. Deals damage to attackers. Uh, I like the possibilities for this card right here, so I'm going to confirm it. Tony is working. Oh yeah, we're already working. I'm here if you need me. Equipping abilities, you gained a new combat ability for your hero. Open their hero screen to equip this new ability. Okay. Um, equip and salvage. Abilities can be equipped or swapped with the cards already in the hero's combat deck. Any unused ability that should be salvaged for essence, which is required for upgrades and more. All right. So we want to edit the deck heroes must have eight abilities equipped in their deck to equip a new ability you must first unequip the ability you wish to replace so what do i want to get rid of um i honestly let's see this is i only have one card that makes people bleed i think which is make them bleed um so i have to have these for hunger to even work uh, let's get rid of one stake ability. Good. And I'm going to confirm this. There you go. Okay. And good. Hey, Hunter. Uh, got a sec to spare? All right. Robbie wants to meet in the forge over here. You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. The forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first spirit of vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another. Just a few days, <clears throat> three centuries ago. It was a while ago. Oh man, um, sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. Uh -huh. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. <laughs> uh, I look forward to it. It would be my honor to spar with the spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blade to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kind of hard to miss. Okay. So, this is the new Ghost Rider? What's this? It's the moon. I got a tarot card. Moon Knight hides his true identity behind his cloak and shadow. This card represents deception, but also creativity and the unconscious. Alright, so we found a hidden item here. Inspect. Curious. A desk cluttered with books, some of them older than you, and you are quite old. So you just get knowledge inspecting places, um... That is something. Inside. And look, what's this? There's some gloss hidden. So just walking around your hub, your base, there are collectibles just hidden everywhere. There's people to talk to, things to interact with. Ah, we got some attack essence. I got knowledge. So you can get, like, this extra lore. Uh, and a Death Star. Oh, here's another tarot card. Nova rises up into the starry night sky surrounded by stars that represent the support of his team. This card symbolizes serenity and hope for the future. That's awesome. 
So this game, I mean, you know, there's a lot of setup before you get into just kind of like doing missions ad nauseum. But I think it's really cool. I love the amount of story they give you. I love that it's all voice acted. And I love uh, how many different systems. There's research, right? Like XCOM, we're fabricating stuff. There's deck building and construction. There's booster packs to open. There's secret items to find everywhere. There's relationships like, you know, in Persona, something like that. And it's all happening together. The game looks fantastic. And I'm really excited. So, everyone, I think this is a good place to end before we go meet Sparky. And I'll check you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.